1.3 million years ago, the African continent stretches vast and wild, a land shaped by heat, hunger, and survival. On these open plains and arid forests, a new kind of hominid is beginning to master the rhythms of nature, Homo erectus. They are not alone in this world. Towering elephants migrate across dry basins. Lions prowl the tall grasses. But Homo erectus is different, adapting not through strength or speed but through intelligence, persistence, and community. We find them on the move. They walk upright across wide savannas, traveling in small bands. They seek water, shade, and food. Their world is uncertain. Rivers shift, prey disappears, and predators emerge without warning. To survive, the Homo erectus must read the landscape like a map, passed down not in words, but in action and imitation. Stone tools mark the beginning of change. Not merely objects, their ideas made physical. Homo erectus selects rocks carefully, striking one against the other, shaping sharp edges for cutting or scraping. These tools open new possibilities, scavenging meat from bones, digging for roots, accessing marrow and insects hidden beneath the surface of the land. The group shares and work. Some forage, some watch, some carry tools or shelter materials. Together, they build a way of life, Temporary camps, simple shelters of leaves and branches, and beginnings of what will one day become human culture. But survival is never guaranteed. Lions, hyenas, and jackals challenge their claim to the land. A single mistake, stepping too far from the group, straying too close to carcass, can end in disaster. One encounter with a predator forces the group to flee. A wounded companion is treated with leaves and water, primitive, but caring. Rainstorms reshape the land. The group seeks caves, high ground, or cover beneath trees. They respond not in fear, but in unity. Movement becomes a pattern. Seek, adapt, survive. They abandon unsafe places, mark new trails, and always move forward. In time, they discover a cave above a valley. It becomes a refuge, a place to rest, observe, and plan. Outside, one sharpens a tool. Another watches a migrating herd, a third open seed pods, using simple but intentional techniques. Each action is learned, passed from hand to hand through imitation and repetition. Fire, still rare, flickers in the dark. It is protection, warmth, perhaps even a center around which they gather. The beginnings of social memory take root, not in language, but in shared acts, shared fears, shared meals. By working together, they reshaped their fate. Where once they followed animals at a distance, now they read signs. Hoof prints in the mud, disturbed grass, distant vultures. Where once they only fled from predators, now they anticipate, avoid, and even challenge. They understand the land in ways no other creature does. 1.3 million years ago, Homo erectus did not yet know what they were becoming, but in their hands, stones became tools. In their eyes, danger became knowledge, and in their movements, slow, deliberate, and shared, began the long path toward humanity. Their world was brutal, beautiful, and vast, and though they are gone, their footprints are etched into the earth we still walk on. Every fire we light, every tool we hold, echoes the first spark struck on ancient stone. The story of Homo erectus is not a tale of dominance, but of endurance. It is a story of survival carved in silence, in the bones of ancient rivers, in the rhythm of migration and memory. Here, 1.3 million years ago, the first chapters of our story were written one step at a time. 